and it's basically as soon as all the animations stop and I spawn in, uh, I will press start on that timer. Now, I don't care what my character looks like, I just want to sort of get in and play. It's completely irrelevant, it's just a bit of a speedrun. So you'll see here, shortly I will start up that timer, and off we go. As soon as that timer starts, I'm walking, and the first thing that I'm wanting to do really is pick up these sticks and stones from the ground. This is not only going to give me uh, XP to level up faster, but uh, it will be the necessary resources that I will require uh, to create power spheres. Now, during this run, there is kind of a little bit of mistakes I made. Now, you want to, the best way to get XP at the start is just to capture powers and get that XP bonus. Now, over here, you see me picking up some berries. This is very important. Uh, as when you do the Syndicate Tower, your pal will consume a lot of hunger and you will need to feed them. So just running around getting these start berries is basically all you need to do um, and that should be enough to keep you going. Now down here, I uh, basically always get this chest. Now it is sort of random what chest it is. Sometimes it'll just be a plain old common chest and you won't get any power spheres, just gold. Um, but other times, like there, I got lucky. Um, it was a rare chest, I believe it is, um, and I got some power spheres. So that allowed me to basically immediately go over and capture this Kativa. And Kativas are really good at the start, um, especially for a run like this. Uh, as you can see, I'm kind of failing here because my stamina is a bit low, but uh, they will help you mine um, the rocks. Now, uh, they will also help you build stuff. And for that, you could use one of the, um, the Lambal, but uh, they, the Lambal only help you build. Whereas the Kativa basically do everything except for helping you cut down trees. Um, now, one thing that is a little bit annoying sometimes is sometimes your character will just cling to the rock when you don't want it to. And that was an instance there where I, I sort of just got a little bit confused as to why my character decided to just Spider-Man there. Um, so I did lose some time on that, uh, that, that wall there. Now basically what I'm trying to do here is capture powers for the XP, but I completely forgot that I captured two Kativa here and I didn't have a power sphere. So I immediately retreated, called back my pal and went on my way. Now at the bottom of the hill here, as you'll see shortly, there is also a, another chest spawn. Um, so... As I'm running down there, I'm collecting all these rocks, all these sticks, um, and you can see every time I collect one, you see like a plus one or plus two, and that's basically me getting XP every time I collect one. So here it is, I get the chest, and luckily it contains some power spheres. So it's always good when the game gives you free power spheres when you're doing this. There are many runs I've tried where I've just gotten extremely unlucky, and there have been nothing to help me out, and those are usually the runs that don't end in under 30 minutes. Um, so, realistically, the only way you do this sort of run is if the game helps you out a little and um, gives you some uh, charity with those spheres. Uh, so, as you can see, now that I've got some, I'm just focusing on capturing as many pals. Now, I made a bit of a, a mistake here. I should have left one party slot open because we are going to be wanting to capture a fox park. Um, the Fox Park is basically a crucial pal. I don't actually think you'll be able to do the run without him, um, though I haven't tried other pals with it. It's basically just been the Fox Park, um, and that's because I think when he gets to level 7, he will just automatically learn a ground spell or earth spell, whatever it is, um, and uh, earth or ground is very strong against Zoe and Grizzle Bolt whatever the boss's name is. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, because my party is full, I can't swap out my pals uh, easily uh, unless I make a pal box. Um, now, this is what I go ahead and do. This is a bit of a time waster. If I didn't need to do this, I probably would have saved a minute or two. As you can see, my pal decided to just do his own thing there because I forgot to set his attack. 
Um, and so I wasted more time just punching another Kativa, which honestly didn't need to happen. But it is XP nonetheless. So you can see he's helping me build this. And I go and slowly place them in my power box. Now, as I was sort of doing this run, I did realize that, you know what, I could have just dropped my own powers and I didn't need to do that. So this is all a learning experience and I'm, you know, figuring out what, 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 what excuse me, what went wrong and, and uh, how I could improve myself. So I reckon I could probably easily shave off maybe two or three minutes um, if I did everything absolutely perfectly. As you can see, I keep forgetting to set my the the like the stance of my pal to just attack what I attack while I'm doing this. So he'll randomly just go off and attack. So what I'm trying to do here now is create the axe and the pickaxe. We're going to need to get up some stone and wood to create our power spheres as well as our um, our, our fragments um, for uh, the power spheres as well. So up ahead, I see some. Um, uh, Fox box and I notice as we come uh, come up here that they start running off which usually would be a bad thing because it's a time waster but they actually split up now generally these powers hang together and they're a bit of a pain when you're low level and you want to just capture one so this was really lucky for me and it ended up making the fight so much easier um, so you'll see here, just, he just completely runs away from his buddies, and it, it just ended up making this so much easier. I only had to dodge one fireball instead of two. Um, but you will see that um, even though I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm kind of far away from the other guys, they still aggroed to me. You'll see as I'm walking along, one of them, I, yeah, one of them aggroed to me. So I, he was so far away, but he still came running back for his buddy. So... Either way, it was lucky. I uh, also no notice I'm just putting points in my stamina. Now, if this was a normal, you know, playthrough, a normal save on a server or your local computer, stamina is probably the last thing I'm going with. I'd probably be stocking up on my health. But because I want to run everywhere and I want to attack things, I need to be able to last in a fight. And that is what the stamina is going to do. Now, after I catch that, um, those fox parks and get the XP bonus for that second one, uh, you will see that I go and uh, just start mining for the ores that I need. And you'll see that the Kativa helps. Now, the Kativa does it very slowly. However, when we're talking about min-maxing here, um, it is definitely faster having his help uh, than if I was just hitting these stones on my own. Um, so I think I grab one or two more after this one before uh, going off and getting some stone. Um, yeah, I'm also focused on just trying to capture or defeat powers with my fox parks now, as the fox parks really needs to try and be level eight or nine. If he's below eight or nine, it's really hard to complete the boss in time. Uh, the timer will run out on you. Um, and you will lose. So I will show you what I do when that time comes. But for now, I'm just basically just getting all the ores and resources, wood, all that good stuff that I need to create as many power spheres as I can. Um, basically, I want to try and start heading up to the boss area uh, at around 17 minutes. If I'm still in this area after 17 minutes, it's kind of a, a kind of a risky run. Um, there are encounters that you can run into which mess this run up as well. Um, you might get some of the syndicate dudes fighting with one of the uh, the, the mammoth fellas, um, or uh, one of my runs there was just a couple of. Um, just powers just ra randomly fighting each other. And because they were fighting each other, they just targeted me out of nowhere. So it's, uh, yeah, you, the, the game really needs to be on your favor to like just not have any events between you and the boss area 
that can get you killed. Because as soon as you die, that's it. You're not getting this done in under 30 minutes. So you'll see here, I'm just getting my Kativa to help me craft the spheres. And as I'm doing that, I'm also just looking around. There is a chance that you might get a shiny. Um, when I was doing one of my runs, I actually ran into a shiny, uh, or lucky as uh, the power variant calls it. Uh, I ran into a lucky fox parks. And that would have been huge if I could capture it. But they're really strong when you're this, uh, this low level. Um, and because they always come in a pack of two... Uh, it, it's really impossible to take no damage with it. And unfortunately I rolled into the second one's fireball, um, after getting hit by the Lucky's giant laser beam. So yes, if you can manage to get a Lucky Fox Parks, I reckon you could do this super easily, especially with the, the laser beam ability, whatever it's called that they usually come with, um, because that is a very strong ability on your lucky pals. Um, okay, so I think that's it for the spheres. I'm happy with 21. That should be enough to get going. You also need to remember that sometimes there are spheres just lying on the ground. And I could also run into some more chests. Now, <clears throat> over here, um, I always just talk to this, uh, this guy here because he'll give you some fragments. Um, and just in case I run out of power spheres, I don't know if I'll need to create another workbench and just craft more. So I always talk to him just in case. Um, and then that little thing that I just picked up, that log, that's honestly just habit. I don't know why I always run to it to pick it up. So anyway, now comes, oh yeah, you can see there, there is some bugs that happen, which sort of ruin my runs as well, where you will throw a one of the power balls close up and it just goes through the power and through the world so <laughs> just just be warned that sometimes that'll happen and it is quite the deal breaker so i ended up wasting one power sphere there um which is unfortunate but you'll see here that i picked it right back up on the ground over here so that was pretty lucky um and yeah now it's just all about going around collecting the powers um and you need to make sure that your Fox Parks gets a ground or earth ability. And like I said, at level seven or eight, I can't remember, he gets his own uh, ground ability. But there's also a skill fruit tree up on this hill, which I also go and check because if it has a second ground ability, uh, that's really big and you will end up basically blitzing the boss. Oh yes, <laughs> you'll see one of my encounters here. <laughs> Um, I wanted to see if I could take on a, a Dire Howl, but as you can see, it's, it's not worth the time. So I decided that I'm just going to pick up the Fox Parks um, and run away. It wasn't worth me letting the Fox Parks take damage here or dying myself, because this, honestly, besides everything that's happened, this has been the best start so far in any of the runs that I've done. Um, and you can see that I'm just really trying to get away. So I'm picking up berries, um, like I said, because Fox Parks is going to be doing most of the work in the boss fight, uh, he will consume a lot of his, his hunger bell. Uh, so you need to basically keep him topped up, otherwise he's going to slowly start dying. Now this is where I bring Fox Parks out and just everything up and down this hill, I want him to fight and I want to capture. He is my priority, he needs to get to level 8 as fast as possible. You can see that's a bit of a shame, 61% capture rate, but the ball bounced off it. And there we go, we cap that one. Cute little lamb ball, sorry mate, gotta get you for the XP. Um, and you'll see the skill fruit tree up ahead. Um, now those, the, those little leaf monks, whatever you want to call them, <laughs> um, they just always run, doesn't matter what you do, they will always run um, early game. So I just tried to send my Fox Parks after it, but you can see it, it just ran. There's not even any point in trying to get them. Um, but you just saw on that skill fruit tree, there was no ground type abilities. 
Um, and that's unfortunate because that basically means the only way we win this run now is to get our Fox Parks to level 8 or 9. There is no other way to beat this boss in the time we have remaining. Um, so yeah, you can see I'm, I'm continuing to level my stamina. Um, and I'm going to keep running towards the boss now. We basically have no time to do anything else but to run towards the boss. So uh, we are basically hoping that there's going to be powers to capture uh, on our way there. And you can see that I'm trying to wait for my pal to attack it. But sometimes it is the wrong call. You can see I, I, uh, I almost missed that there. He almost killed him. But he popped out of the ball and I think I missed again. Oh no, I, I got it that time. Yeah, there we go. We got it that time. Alrighty. So all the XP bonus we get from collecting the powers here is really good for us. Um, all helps uh, to getting our Fox Parks to level 8. So you can see his damage is pretty full on when it comes to the level 4s. Um, so you kind of just want to be careful with it. He's going to shoot again and that's basically my time to hit it. So I always want to try and let the Fox Parks hit the powers twice before I do anything because I know if I let him hit it and then I go in for the hit whenever he goes to attack again is usually the reason I end up killing the pal is because I don't expect how much damage he ends up doing. So I'm going to continue to the boss area and yep I see a couple of fox sparks and those are good XP as well so I want to go ahead and farm these guys up for the XP. You can see they're so much easier to fight now that my Fox Parks is leveled up. Unfortunately, I missed the ball on that one. And I should get this one. Yeah, just. Just got him. Um, for some reason, every time I've done this run, that Kremis up on the rock is always there. It's just, it's like a default spawn for it, and it's always stuck there. So it's like a guarantee you're always going to get this dude on this rock here, so... You know, free EXP, whether you get it with a power sphere or, or, or kill it. Uh, you can see there, that was that bug happening again, where I threw the power sphere, um, but unfortunately it went through him, and uh, my Fox Parks ended up killing him with his ability. So, basically just going to be doing the same thing until my Fox Parks hits level 8. Um, this run was getting very tight with the time. I was sort of looking at the time and I was just like, man, I just got to sort of run up there, hope that there's pals. I'm low HP. I thought I was low HP because I got hit by the Fox Parks, but I was so focused on getting to the, the Syndicate Tower that I completely missed that I was hungry. So this is where those berries come in. <laughs> um, all the food you gathered is going to be super helpful. Although the amount of times we attack, we just consume so much uh, of our hunger bar, both for the pal and yourself. But now that I knew that it wasn't the Fox Parks that was hitting me, it was my own hunger, I went back for it. And if I didn't do this, I don't think I would have made this run. Let's see. Successfully capture this guy. I just double check because this at this point of the game if they escape it's it's a really big loss um but now comes a like really risky part my fox parks is probably i want to say 60 experience points from getting level eight and if i don't get him to level eight it's very hard to kill this boss in time so i notice that there is some uh, syndicate thugs and i'm just hoping that my fox sparks is able to like just get some xp um, and unfortunately, this was a bad thing. I think the Fox Parks was going for one of the Syndicate Thugs, but his ability hit the um, the, the deer thing. I, I can't remember what, what, what its name is. But because of that, it ended up, it ended up aggroing onto us. And I'm sure, as most of you are aware, if that thing targets you, it will one-shot you at this stage of the game. But um, luckily, one of the thugs that my Fox Parks was targeting was following us. And because of that, uh, this was the only reason I got the Fox Parks to level 8. So you can see the deer still heavily is chasing us. So I'm just praying the Fox Parks gets the thug. There we go. And he leveled up to level 8. 
just in time. Literally with 30 seconds to spare. So I skip the intro because it's really crucial at this point. Um, now, the boss is like the ability he uses at the start is kind of random. And you really just want him to start following you straight away. Um, so you'll see here that what I try to do is get him stuck on the pillar. And it's very easy to do if you just sort of kite him around it at a distance. You don't want to kite him around it close to him. If you kite him around it close to him, he'll do like a sort of charge up slam attack on the ground. Um, but that's that's pretty much it. As soon as he's stuck like this, you get your fox sparks out. Now you see I have two of them and I let my level 7 out instead of my level 8. You can see as soon as I swap to my level 8, the damage that he does is significantly higher. So that's basically it. <laughs> At this point, you go make a coffee and you let your fox parks do all the work. So, yep, I'm going to speed up the rest of the video here. Um, and yeah, if you guys like this video, give it a like, comment down below um, and subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content. I don't know how often I'll be doing these speed run things. Um, I just wanted to give myself a bit of a challenge, um, but you'll definitely be seeing more Power World content from me. Um, but yeah, with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next video.